Hi, I'm Captain Steve, and in this video, we're going to be focused on a question I get from beginning boaters. What is the difference between the various propulsion methods boats use to get from A to B? Well, the choices are several, so let's start by breaking them down and seeing how they work. Let's talk about the different types of propulsion available for your boat. This is a boat with an outboard motor. As you can see, it is a completely self-contained propulsion system that simply bolts onto the transom or the back of your boat. The whole unit is able to pivot to turn your boat. The removable fuel line is hooked up to a tank that is either removable as well, or it may be built into the boat, depending on the size of your boat. And the whole engine will be either manually or hydraulically lifted to trim the boat while underway, or taken all the way up to keep the lower unit clean and dry while on a mooring or beach. On boats that are powered by an outboard motor, there are not only various choices of engine manufacturer to choose from, but also of horsepower. And so, there will be a maximum horsepower rating for your boat included on the vessel's capacity plate. Usually when you buy the boat and motor as a package, they're matched to each other. But if you buy an outboard motor separately from the boat, make sure that you don't get a larger engine than your boat was designed for. Exceeding this horsepower limitation will put you in a very unsafe position and will also void all warranties for the boat and motor. Here is the inboard outboard. It's sometimes referred to as an I.O. and also a stern drive as it occupies the whole stern section of your boat. This setup will have an engine similar to a car engine mounted inside the boat in a motor box with an out drive attached to the aft end of the engine through the transom. This is a very popular setup as it allows you to have a familiar engine, which is easy to work on, installed for a marine application. The outdrive will also behave just like the outboard in that it is able to pivot for steering and tilt up and down for mooring or beaching the boat. Here is an inboard installation. These are the drive of choice for larger boats. Again, the engine is mounted inside the boat, but instead of an outdrive, a transmission is connected to the engine. A drive shaft then attaches to the transmission and exits through the hull through a stuffing box. The stuffing box is what prevents water from coming back into the hull. A propeller is attached to the other end of the shaft. For steering, aft of the propeller is a rudder that pivots and diverts the flow from the propeller to push the back or stern of the boat one way or the other. With this setup, steering is very efficient when the engines are in forward, but practically useless when in reverse. Often, the case with inboard boats is that there are two engines, and then that reduced steering in reverse can be a gift, but we'll get into that later on. Virtually all PWCs, or personal watercraft, have this type of propulsion unit called a jet drive. Actually, ducted fan would be more appropriate to describe this setup. An inboard engine is connected to a propulsion unit under the hull. Water is drawn into one end of the duct and then blasted out the other end through this nozzle, which pivots to direct the thrust and steer the boat. The result is a highly maneuverable vehicle that's a lot of fun to operate. There's no transmission for forward or reverse on this application either. When you pull the shift lever back into the reverse position, what happens is a clamshell drops down into the exhaust flow to redirect it forward and thus reverse the boat. It's the same thing that happens when a jet airliner lands on the runway and the engines rev up again to slow it down. You just divert the thrust forward. Let's be clear between the difference between a sailing vessel and a sailboat. A sailing vessel is exactly as the name implies. These boats utilize the power of the wind to move about with a rudder attached to the transom to steer, okay? That's a sailing vessel. A sailboat is a boat with a sail, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the sail that's moving the boat. Several sailboats will have an auxiliary engine, either inboard or outboard, to maneuver in and out of tight harbors or docks and to get out to where there's more sea room to sail around in. The reason we need to be clear on the difference between a sailing vessel and a sailboat is because if a sailboat starts up that motor, then it automatically becomes a powerboat by law. And then it's subject to powerboat rules of the road regarding rights of way and lighting. Generally, when a powerboat meets a sailing vessel, the powerboat needs to keep out of the sailing vessel's way. Now, since this video was made, there's been a new development in the propulsion arena, pods. Pod drives have really been making headway Get it? <laughs> anyway, they've been gaining in popularity for several years now, and with good reason. They work really well, and they've allowed for increased maneuverability with little to no experience in boat handling. There are two kinds of pods, and both have dual counter-rotating propellers for each pod. One has the propellers facing forward, and they pull the boat through the water. The other 
has the propellers facing aft and they push the boat along. Both are controlled through the vessel's steering wheel, as you'd expect, and there's also a joystick that gets used mostly for around the dock. By moving the joystick in any direction, you can thus move the boat in any direction, even sideways. And by rotating the joystick, you can also rotate the boat. These are very cool systems and very efficient too. So that's our look at the various propulsion systems for our boats. Thanks for watching and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button so that you can keep up when additional videos are posted. I'm Captain Steve and I'll see you on the water.